Hello guys, welcome back to Odoistic. Today I have got an exciting tutorial for you. We are going to drive into how to install Ubuntu 24.04.1 LTS. I will guide you step by step through the entire process from preparing your USB flash drive to getting Ubuntu up and running on your machine. We will also talk a bit about what makes this release special the new features and why it's worth considering for both beginners and seasoned users. So let's get started. Uh, the opening sets the tune and uh, uh, what uh, we can get the new enhanced features in Ubuntu 24.04. Uh, the first of all, I will talk about enhanced Genome 46, the updated Genome desktop environment features, better usability, including improved file management search, expandable notifications, and more intuitive settings. Then on second, um, I would say streamlined installation. The installer now supports ZFS encryption and integrated auto-install, making setup easier and more secure. Uh, then on third number, I would say improved app center and firmware updates. A revamped App Center and a dedicated firmware update app enhance the user experience. Uh, on number fours, I would rate developer-friendly features. The release includes the latest tool chains for popular programming languages like Python, Rust, Ruby, and more. Uh, on number fifth, enterprise-ready networking. So NetPlan 1.0 introduces comprehensive networking configuration while enhanced Windows compatibility supports enterprise needs. And on number six, enhanced security. Updates include refined PPA distribution, stricter app armor policies, and improved package installation processes. Give me six more. Um, so, uh, it has given us six um, main features I have just taken out of it. So now I would explain it to you how to create uh, a USB drive to install it on any machine. We will, we will actually go for a new fresh installation. Okay guys, here's a step-by-step -step guide on creating a USB for installing Ubuntu 24.04 and to burn our um, disk, we will be using Rufus. So first of all, download Ubuntu 24.04 and for that, we just need to go on ubuntu.com slash download and slash desktop don't worry i will be <coughs> leaving all these um, website links and software links definitely in the description so here on this website you will see download 24.04.1 lts is there the latest lts were you know for ubuntu for desktop pcs and laptops lts stands for long-term support which means five years of free security and maintenance updates extended up to 12 years with ubuntu pro definitely so we are going to click download 24.04 lts and this will start our download process guys so if you look at here so our ubuntu 24.04.1 desktop version has started downloading so uh, in the meantime this is getting downloading what we need to do we can open another browser tab and and we can start writing rufus.ie slash en <coughs> So once we will press this, um, we will press enter. <clears throat> we will see this page and this is called Rufus Create Bootable USB Drives the Easy Way. 
and once we scroll down we can see these download links guys so in here we can get rufus 4.6 xz this is standard this is for windows uh for 64 bit version then we are also gone portable. So if we don't want to install it on our on our machine, then we can use this one. And then for uh, eighty six bit one, and then also Windows ARM uh, sixty four. But in our case, what we will do, we will just install. We will download the first one. So our download has been started. So Rufus 4.6 XZ, it has been downloaded. What we need to do once it has been downloaded, we can just click that download link and it will show us, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Of course, yes. And then we will get this small pop-up. Do you want to allow Rufus to check for application updates online? Okay, that's good. And then here you go, it has been installed. But now we just need to choose our device. So I have already inserted my USB, which is SanDisk Cruiser Blade USB 7.5 GB. And actually it's eight gigabyte. After that, we need to select our ISO image which we have already downloaded from Ubuntu website so if we can just go and select so we can see it has already been downloaded so we just need to click or choose this one once we will just pick it up it will just scan the image it's ready now then we can see that partition scheme MBR just leave it at as is leave it as it is then target system bios or uefi it's fine um, volume label you can change here but i will just leave it as it is then file system fat 32 it's all right cluster size automatically it will select it so that's it and we just need to click start here we will see this more pop pop up the image you have selected is an iso hybrid image <laughs> this means it can be written either uh, in ISO image file copy mode or DD image disk image mode, which you, you just need to let it uh, choose automatically right in ISO image mode recommended. Click OK. And then it's saying all data on device Ubuntu 24.04.1 LTS AMD 64. Um, a drive 8 gigabyte will be destroyed. To continue with this operation, click OK. To quit, click cancel. We say OK. So this will start partitioning, this will start formatting, and then it will start creating file system. Uh, once it will be, it will take a couple of minutes, like five to 10 minutes. So I will just let it like that. And once it will be completed, I will just come back. So I just pause the video. So, okay guys, it has been completed. And you can see it's 100% done. And now we can just close it. And now we will start the process to install Ubuntu in another machine and that will be a fresh installation. So, okay guys, we are on another machine at the moment. And as you can see, this is the boot page. So here, I just need to select my boot drive, which is in my case is SanDisk. So what I go, I'm going to do, I just need to do enter. So once we press enter, then it will start booting from our drive, which recently we have already created. You have already seen that process we have created. Uh, so here on that page, we just need to click the first option, try and install Ubuntu. So once we press that, try and install Ubuntu, we need to wait for some time because it will take some time. It will just uh, just get loaded all the Ubuntu drivers and then it will load the 
window where we will just install and we will select all the options. So we just need to wait for some time here. Once we will just get that window to just appear. Okay, now as you can see, it has loaded the Ubuntu main page. So we just wait for the window. We can see now it's preparing Ubuntu. Sorry for the delay, but I believe we just wait for the main window to come and then we can just choose all the options which we want to install. Here you go. <clears throat> so in this page, we will just select English in our case. You can select any language which you want. Then here we will just click next. Uh, here any keyboard selection you can create, you can just I will just choose English UK then we just need to connect um, our Wi-Fi network in my case I will just connect mine which is my the first one once you will select that you just need to enter password for that and which I am doing at the mo moment once you will enter the password you can simply connect and in some cases it can take maybe one minute to connect so that's it you can just connect it and it will take some time to connect um, in my case because my network signals are not very very strong so maybe it will take a little bit longer but after that it will be connected So right, it has been connected. So once we will do next, we will be on next page. What do you want to do with Ubuntu? We, we say install Ubuntu because we want to permanently install and then interactive installation I will choose rather than automated installation. And after that, what apps would you like to install to start? I would say default selection, but you can install whatever you like. And then I will also choose install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware included, but not limited to NVIDIA drivers and similar. So if you have got NVIDIA card, you can install it separately later words. How do you want to install Ubuntu? So I would say install Ubuntu alongside Windows Boot Manager erase disk and install Ubuntu where you can um, do uh, 
start from scratch on your selected disk and then manu manual installation. I will choose Erase Disk and install Ubuntu. That's fresh. And here, we just need to choose the drive where we want to install our Ubuntu installation. So I have chosen the first one and then just click Next. Here, we just need to create a new account because it's a fresh installation. I will choose the PC name, which I would say AutoASTIC in this case. Automatically, it will start, it will select computer's name. Your username, any name you can select, and then you can choose any password which you want to use once your system will be started, and then click Next. Here, you can just choose your time zone. In my case, it's Europe, London. So I have just chosen. And then after that, you can review all the options which you have created, and then that's it, boom. You can start installation. So your Ubuntu fresh installation has been started without any fuss. It's so simple process. It's not that complicated. But as very briefly, I have just shown you from scratch how you can create a simple uh, USB drive, how you can install your Ubuntu uh, software, new software on your uh, USB drive, how you can create through Rufus, uh, why we are installing all the new features. I have just told you that these are the new features. It's very cool uh, open source operating system. As you can see, lots of new features. It has been added. You will love this. So we just need to wait until the installation will be completed. So yeah, maybe it will take some time and then we'll just go along with that. So now, as you can see, Ubuntu 24.04.1 LTS is installed and ready to use. So restart to complete the installation or continue testing. So what we are doing, we are just going to restart the system. And we will see first time how it will look in this new machine. So I'm using Dell XPS. And this is first time Ubuntu 24.04 LTS will be installed. It has been installed, sorry. It has already been installed and we are just going to booting up the system. First time, maybe it will take two, three minutes, but after that, it will be super quick because this is faster machine. It will not take that long. So I hope you have you're liking this video. I know it's a bit prolonged video, it's a long video, but I'm just trying to cover everything which even a beginner is required to install Ubuntu on their machines. So that's it. It's asking me the password first time to boot this system, the password which already I have provided, I will just put in, press enter. And this is where magic happens. Welcome to Ubuntu 24.04.1 LTS. Complete your setup with additional settings and we will have you up and running in no time. So I will just press next. Here, we can upgrade our machine to Ubuntu Pro, which I have not done. So share system data. Yes, open App Center as well. If we want to install additional 
applications. So these are all the new applications which you can install, FreeCAD, Genome, uh, Mahjog, Eye of Genome, Telemetry, TV Media Player, DataGrip is a brilliant app. So here are all the categories, PyCharm, Notepad++, amazing. In development, my favorite and yours as well is vStudio Code. Just press enter the password if you want to install, authenticate it, and installation has been started in no time. Isn't that cool? This is really, really cool. Amazing. Let me just zoom out and show you the full view of my XPS main page now. So we are just installing Visual Studio Code on our Ubuntu. You can install any other application, whatever you like. But this is just a starting point, which um, I'm trying to show you. It Once it has been installed, you can just click open if you want. And you can also pin it and add it on your left menu, which is the main menu. So as you can see, Visual Studio has been started. You can install any other app now. If you want, you can go back in application centers. Uh, you can install Firefox, Google Chrome, Brave, Chromium, anything, guys, literally. So this is how it is, guys. Uh, I hope you have liked this video. Uh, you'll, if you like it, please share it with, with your friends. And yeah, I will try my best to come up with more and more innovative co content um, and just try my best to, to be the best. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you.